90% of traders fail. Like I get that stat, but when you think of it, 90% of businesses fail, you know, and a lot, of people, a lot of people will be more um, excited when you say, Hey, I'm about to start a business. They're like, Oh wow. Good. Good yeah. luck, man. You're, you're going to do great. And, but if you're say, I'm going to go day trade, I'm going to go mm-hmm. into trading. They're like, man, that's stupid. Like, why, why are you doing Why that? do you think that is? Why do I, people have that correlation? Man, they just, because of the... Because they think you can make money too fast? Is yeah. that what it is? If they can't wrap their brain around man, it? Man, maybe. I. It, it's just the gambling mentality, I guess. Mm-hmm. Man, you think of trading, you just think of gambling. <laughs> I mean, everyone else. <laughs> Until you get, you have the trader's mindset, yeah. you know? So... So how did it, how did you actually become profitable? Like who was the one that you learned from? Yeah. So um, I mm-hmm. learned like all the con, like learning how to technical analysis and all of that just by myself, YouTube, just learning. But it really hit when I started adding more confluences, like technical, uh, no, sentimental analysis and fundamental analysis. Adding those things into my trading. Um, it was Trader Nick on YouTube. Um, Trader Nick, I think I've heard of him. Yeah. So he's. A YouTuber, he does a lot more of the fundamental, mm-hmm. and he actually he owns the um, the A one trading thing that they have there. They okay. built that software, yeah, so yeah. I actually learned from him, and I stuck with it. I was like, wow, this is it's really handy to you know have these fundamental biases mm-hmm. to it. So is that so, like it's just based on news and, and all yeah. this stuff? Yeah. So um, like like I said, like interest rates, and um, it really combines like the three different. I could say pillars of Mm -hmm. like a strategy and trading. There's technical analysis, sentimental analysis, and fundamental analysis. So the technical analysis is really, you know, the charts. Mm -hmm. And then the other two are very overlooked by people. And I feel feel like it should be looked at more. Um, Sentimental analysis, more of uh, commitment of traders data and um, retail sentiment. And what's really nice about the software that I use. um, Shows you. Yeah. So every Friday, believe it or not, um, the COT data comes out mm-hmm. and that's all the big speculators, the big banks, all the big money, mm-hmm. like the 80% of the market, they actually have to, by law, release all their positions, open positions. Um, it actually, they, uh, put it in on Tuesday, but it comes out every Friday. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit lagging, but, um, it'll come out with all their contracts mm-hmm. and it comes out as a really nasty text document. Uh, the software I use like kind of uh, visualizes it more. Okay. But yeah, it comes out in a, it's really cool to be able to see all the actual open positions from these big, um, big mm-hmm. players mm-hmm. and you can trade alongside them. You know, right now, actually, believe it or not, the, um, the big banks and stuff, they're 80% on average, they're 80% long gold. So um, right now I, I believe that gold is going to reach, I don't know, 2200 or so. They the past like month they've been adding to their contracts and you can see right now that they have about 220,000 open contracts, which is it's it's really big. Yeah, and they're, like they're, just they're, knowing yeah. that is it gives you some sort of confidence yeah. almost, right? Yeah, and they're 80% long gold, so it makes me want to go I only buy gold. Mm-hmm. I don't short it because I know that I'm going against them. You know, why would you want to go on the 20% when you want to, you know, be with the big, big speculators, and then on the contrary, you'll see um, the other part of the sentimental analysis, retail sentiment. Yeah, exactly. Is Just do the exact opposite. Yeah, they're shorting. They're <laughs> yeah. shorting, and you see that a lot with big moves, big trends. You'll see, um, I don't know, euro going higher and higher, and you'll see that the institutions are all long, but then you'll see retail sentiment. You'll look at it, and they're all short. They're like eighty percent short. Well. Why? why? Yeah. Why, why is, is that? that? <laughs> so, um, is it because of the retail they, logic trading? Yeah, they they think, oh, it's too high. Time Support to resistance. Time to sell. Time to sell because it's, it's too high. But realistically, like, there's no, you know, end. There's no limit. There's no yeah. end to how high a market can go. It'll reach new highs and it'll just keep going. So, I like to trade against the retail trader. I like to trade, you know, if they're lo- long, I mm-hmm. like to go short. So it's really. Um, an extra confluence. Let me ask you something. Do you? Yeah. What are your thoughts on the market? <clears throat> or, yeah, what are your thoughts on the market moving based on an algorithm? Based on an algorithm. Have you ever heard of this concept? <sighs> kind of. Um, I want to get your take on that, man. I, I don't know about that. I, I think of the market more moves with 
like the big players will use the news. They'll use the interest rates. They'll use all these fundamental um, analysis to build a position mm -hmm. and a bias. Mm -hmm. be like, but I don't know. And if you think, it, and you would just say that them because they're the majority players, they're yeah. what's majority pushing the market yeah, in the they, direction. In in my opinion, yeah. yeah, I think they're majority pushing the market. Yes, mm -hmm. um, whatever, like whatever this economy. I think they look at more the bigger picture, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I try to do. I look at the bigger picture. What is this economy? Why why is there a need to buy this? Why should I buy the yen? Mm -hmm. You know, right now the yen's crumbling. It's it's not doing great there. You know, not yeah, they're not doing great. But why should I like sell? Why should I buy this economy? Why is the US dollar, mm -hmm. you know, weak? Why is it strong? And look at those factors of why. You know, yeah. why because the unemployment is good. Mm -hmm. You know, the interest rates are um going higher or lower. Yeah. You know, so those those um those really help me build the bias and why it, it helps me you know, have more of the, um, reasoning. Yeah. Reasoning and makes me feel better about mm -hmm. being in a position that I actually feel like this economy is doing better than the other one. Okay. So you you're know? taking more of a, you're taking definitely a larger scale approach yes. to every trade. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's good. That's, yeah. that's important. That's what traders should do at the end mm -hmm. of the day. Yeah. Right? Do your research. Right. Yeah. So I mean, not to diss on the one minute time frame or anything, but if <laughs> if you find consistency in exactly. a one minute, if you find consistency in any strategy, stick with it. And At if that's what you day, like yeah. to do, it's what yeah. works for you, right? Yeah. Just me personally, I find it more, it was more helpful for me to move up to the four hour, the more, the daily. Catch the major yeah. movement. And I, I actually used to trade like one minute. I used to trade five minute and I wasn't able to find consistency. That's just, it wasn't my style mm -hmm. of trading. So. I believe that you have to find your style. You have to find what really works for you.